At a studio in Darwin, musicians from Indonesia and Arnhem Land have come together to make music. The relationship between these two cultural groups goes back hundreds of years, prior to British settlement, when Indonesian fishermen visited Australia's northern coast each year. But their connection may be closer and more current than anyone realised. These photographs show Aboriginal people from Australia posing in a studio in the Indonesian city of Makassar in 1873. Lily Yulianti and Dian Mega Safitri are from Makassar and surprised to see the portraits. They are real. They are, they are there. They visited Makassar. What, what do you think about when you look at that photo there? Yes, really curious about when and where this little boy was born, what happened to him. The visits by Asian crews to Australia are well documented, but the photographs are the first visual evidence that Aboriginal people made the return trip. Oh, look, I was absolutely blown away. Among them was this collection of Australian Aboriginal photographs that had really been um, undiscovered you know, for such a long time. So it was tremendously exciting. The photos were taken by an Italian naturalist and corroborate oral and written accounts of a large number of First Nations people moving to Indonesia during the 1800s. We know that Aboriginal people travelled to Makassar um, on a regular basis and some of them stayed there and married Makassan women and had families with them. So I think it's highly likely that there are descendants uh, of those, those mixed families still um, living in Makassar today. Aboriginal elders agree. Back in Darwin, the Yongu musicians are seeing the photos for the first time. What do you think when you see those photos? Yeah, it's a Yongu people. They look like from Arnhem Land. Arnhem Land, they look like from Arnhem Land. How can you tell? Just by recognising all these signs on here, on the sides. Everybody who studied the images agrees that they raise more questions than they provide answers. What happened to the people in the images? Did they travel back home here to the northern coast of Australia? Or did they stay and potentially leave descendants? The photos are being circulated in Makassar and Arnhem Land to try to find answers. I think it's, it's a really rich part of our history that's been overlooked. Uh, it points to this centuries old trade and connections and exchanges with our region, with Indonesia and Sulawesi. It's unclear whether descendants still living in Indonesia would be eligible for Australian citizenship. But the search is now underway to try to find them. Erin Park, ABC News, Darwin.